And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate this grainy noise look. This is one way to do it or the way that I would do it. At first I'll copy the original and I'll make the original visible. Then I desaturate it. You can use any mode that you want. Just pick something that fits the image. Next up copy two times. I'll go to my first copy right here and I'll change the blending mode to grain merge. You need to go down with the opacity, the exact value depends on the image that you use, but around 25 to 50 should be a good range. Let's go to the second copy. We need grain extract and once again 25 to 50 for opacity. So this is the difference now that we've created here. Let us create a new layer. I make it transparent and now you want to pick a grayish tone. You don't want to go too dark or too light. Let me try something like this. Use the paint bucket tool, left click on the canvas and then change it to grain extract. Maybe that was a little bit too dark. You can see if I make it darker due to the blending mode, the image gets lighter. And if I make the color lighter, the image gets darker. So you want to pick something that's close to the original, something like this. And now we'll add the grain. We will use filters, noise and RGB noise. Uncheck these boxes. Then you only have a value and an alpha. Keep the alpha at zero. And if I increase the value, you can see what this does. So it adds a lot of noise. You don't want to go too high, let's say 1.0 to 1.5, something like this. And afterwards add a Gaussian blur. Just use a very low value, like 0.5, confirm it. You can always reapply this noise effect, so if you want to have a little bit more. Once again uncheck the boxes, but in the second iteration you need to go even lower. And then again, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And this is the process that I would use to add this grainy noise effect to photos in GIMP. Just a word of caution, don't merge these layers afterwards. I don't know why, but when you do, you're going to lose a couple of these effects. So merging is not the best idea, just keep it like this. And obviously you can also adjust opacity for our noise layer right here. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.